How to create AI influencer videos using Google VO3. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can build your own AI influencer using VO3. So let's jump right in. To get started, head on over to deepmind.google.com and we're going to click on try and flow to get started with VO3. I personally just like to use VO3 and flow. It just makes it easier for me to create. You can opt for any other platform. So if you want to use this in Gemini, you can do that as well. I'm going to click on create with flow to get started and I'm just going to log on to flow via my Google account. And once I've done that, this is what my dashboard is going to look like. So within your dashboard on your top right, you have flow TV and then you have your account information. And here are some of the videos I have created. You guys can see I have created a lot of these, you know, talking videos. And this is an example of where I have uploaded a image of my own product. And from there, I have asked it to create a a video of a person uh, holding the palette that I have and then swatching the palette on her arm. So you guys can see that she swatches the eyeshadow colors on her arm. Now I can proceed with building my own AI influencers and you might say, hey, what's the purpose of building an AI influencer? Well, they're all the rage on Instagram right now and you can gain a lot of followers and a lot of people are interested in taking a look at these AI influencers. So click on new project and then you're going to get started with your project. Now from here, we're going to be creating all the content for that influencer within the same project because this guarantees you a lot of consistency when you can just extend your scene. So starting off, I'm going to enter my prompt and this is going to be the basic description of your subject or of your influencer. So middle eastern woman, woman in her 20s, sitting in her bedroom. She is skinny with a short black bob. She is skinny with a short black bob and she has a slightly crooked nose with big eyes. And I have defined some of the basic characteristics of our AI influencer with big eyes. And then I can, you know, further define if she has any birthmarks or anything else. Now I want to proceed with actually adding the environment. So her room is pink and she says, and I'm going to add the dialogue. Hi, my name's Liana and I'm a AI influencer. Now, once I've done that, I need to select a model and we're going to be using VO3. So I'm going to be selecting VO3 from here. And VO3 fast is going to take around 20 credits and VO3 quality takes around 100 credits. VO2 quality also takes around 100 credits. So this just comes down to your personal preferences. I'm going to be using VO3 fast to create my video. Now, once I have my basic prompt, I'm going to wait for my video to be created. Keep in mind that whatever video is created here is going to serve as your initial direction from where you can further proceed with building the rest of your AI influence your videos so whatever is created in the first prompt if you do not like it you can make some edits you can alter it you can alter the appearance of your ai influencer and change all these small elements within the ai influencer and once you are satisfied with the overall appearance then you can proceed with asking the ai to keep your character consistent from that point onwards so we're just going to wait for our first video to be created so right now our first video has been created and i'll show you guys what exactly this looks like now, I personally do like this. If I want to further alter the appearance of my AI influencer, then I can ask it to alter the appearance, but I am satisfied with the appearance. So I'm going to click on add to scene and we're going to proceed with adding to our scene. Now, instead of adding to your scene, you can click on jump to. The girl is on a beach and from here, I'm just going to use the same model and then it's going to jump into the next scene. We're going to be using VO3 fast for our video to be created and then it is going to move towards the next scene. Now, if you want, if you want to extend the same scene again, which means that if you want to build some longer AI influencer videos, you can click on extend instead of jumping to the next scene. You can also arrange these in different formats, but you guys saw that I only added the prompt of she is going to be at the beach because I have defined the main character as this influencer. And now I can go into the scene builder and this 
particular project and I can just refer to this particular character as she as the main character and the AI will be able to understand that this character is what it needs to consistently create. What else you can do to create a really consistent AI influencer is keep a screen cap of the influencer. So this is my influencer and I can take a uh, screenshot of the face and I can use that face as a reference whenever I'm building the rest of my content. So this is our first clip where she is introducing herself and talking about how she, how she is an AI influencer. Then after that, we have our second video. She is continuing on to speak and I can proceed with, you know, jumping to the next scene or extending this scene further. It just depends on your personal preference on how you want to go on about with your AI influencer. Now, what are the use cases of these influencers? Because sure, we can build a character, but why are we building a character? That is a question that you might have. So if you do have that question as to why are we building this character, then all we need to do is build a character, build a following, and after we have built our following, we can use this AI character to get brand deals as well as promote product. And you might say, hey, how would I promote a product here? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to click on frames to video. You can enter the frame of the product that you have been asked to promote as an AI influencer, whatever product it is, let's say it's this one. And then I can ask the prompt to create a video of my AI influencer holding this product or talking about this product. Now, I don't want to create this, so I want to create something a bit different. I am going to go into my scene builder, but I'm going to go back into my projects and my scene builder and then I can click on plus and then I want to jump to this happens and then it jumps to the girl on a airplane and I'm just going to put in my prompt and now it will create the next scene so on and so forth you can build your influencer in multiple different locations without having to spend all the money that influencers do not only that but you can add trending items so if there's a certain yoga trend that's going on or a certain fitness trend a juice cleanse a certain doll purse whatever it might be you can just generate that with your AI character rather than being you know obligated to purchase that product to show to your audience your AI character can just have it be generated alongside them so you guys can see that she is further talking and she's talking around and I want to I want to further and add you know a bit of a dissolve I can ask it to dissolve the background further so I can move the character to a new scene this just goes down to how much detail you are providing how much context about the environment context about the overall environment influencer you can even ask it to build certain personality traits i have done this with this particular character as well so first we created this character again middle eastern has olive skin and she is looking straight at the camera and says hi my name is liana and you guys can see this is an example then after that we have used the same character and we have asked it to show liana's home and she's saying hi welcome to my home so in this way you can build vlogs you can build short form content you can build tiktok instagram reels and so much much more with these AI influencers. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching.